Good morning and welcome to the 22nd meeting of Session 6 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. Under the first agenda item, we are considering an instrument subject to the MAID affirmative procedure. No points have been raised on SSI 2022-233, the Scottish Landfill Tax, Prescribed Landfill Site Activities, Amendment Order 2022. Is the committee content with this instrument? Content. Yeah. However, as the instrument was laid the day before the summer recess on the 1st of July and came into force immediately, it has meant that there has been a period of time when the order has been law, but the Parliament has not been able to consider the changes. While the Committee may be content with the reasons provided by the Scottish Government in our correspondence, which can be read in the published papers for today's meeting, does the Committee agree to highlight in its report that, firstly, as far as possible, the Scottish Government should avoid a situation such as this in the future, and secondly, while this is not possible, it would be helpful for the Scottish Government to provide a fuller explanation of the reasons for the timing of the instrument. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. Under agenda item number three, we are considering an instrument subject to the affirmative procedure. No points have been raised on the draft Consumer Scotland Transfer of Functions Regulations 2022. Is the committee content with this instrument? Content. Under agenda item number four, we are considering three instruments subject to the negative procedure. An issue has been raised on one of these, which is SSI 2022-261, the Coronavirus Scotland Act's Savings Provisions and Regulations 2022. The instrument makes savings provisions in consequence of the expiry of Part 1 of the Coronavirus Scotland Act 2020 and Part 1 of the Coronavirus Scotland Number 2 Act 2020. Under Section 28.2 of the Interpretation and Legislative Reform of Scotland Act 2010, instruments subject to the negative procedure must be laid at least 28 days before they come into force, not counting recess periods of more than four days. This instrument breaches this requirement as it was laid on the 30th of August 2022 and will come into force on the 1st of October 2022. In correspondence with the presiding officer, the Scottish Government explained that it was unable to lay the instrument in late June uh, to allow the full 28 days before coming into force. This was due to the fact that the final stages of the Coronavirus Recovery and Reform Scotland Act 2022 were also taking place at that time and may have necessitated further provision on, in the instrument. Does the Committee wish to draw this instrument to the attention of the Parliament under Reporting Ground G for failure to comply with lane requirements? And at the same time, is the committee content with the Scottish Government's explanation provided for the breach of the laying requirements? Yes, also, under this agenda item, no points have been raised on SSI 2022-249 and SI 2022-697. Is the committee content with these instruments? Content. Yeah. Under agenda item number five, we are considering two instruments not subject to any parliamentary procedure. An issue has been raised on one of these, which is SSI 2022-250, the Act of Sedent Rules of the Court of Session 1994 Amendment, Court Sittings 2022. Schedule 3 of the instrument provides an updated definition of vacation sitting days of the Court of Session from the beginning of 2024 up to the end of 2026 winter vacation. In correspondence with the committee, which can be read in our published papers, the Lord President's private office confirmed that there was an error in the selection of two of the vacation sitting days. It noted that the days selected should have been set on Monday instead of Wednesday in both instances. The Lord President's Office intends to correct this error at the next available opportunity. Does the Committee wish to draw this instrument to the attention of the Parliament under the General Reporting Ground? And at the same time, does the Committee wish to welcome that the Lord President's Private Office intends to take corrective action by way of an amendment at the next available opportunity. Yes. Also, under this agenda item, no points have been raised on SSI 2022-231. Is the committee content with this instrument? Content. <coughs> under agenda item number six, <coughs> excuse me, under agenda item number six, we're considering an instrument subject to approval. No points have been raised on SG 2022-146, the Scottish Social Housing Charter, November 2022. Is the committee content with this instrument? Yes. yes. The Charter was previously laid in February 2022 and subsequently withdrawn following questions being asked on behalf of the committee. 
about whether this statutory consultation requirements had actually been met. This was still not clear in the revised Charter before the Committee today. In correspondence with the Scottish Government, on the revised Charter, the Committee asked whether there had been direct communication with all eight statutory consultees listed in Section 33, Subsection 2 of the 2010 Act, and whether any changes were made to the revised Charter in light of direct communication from the statutory consultees. The Scottish Government's response, which can be found in the published papers for this meeting, lists the statutory consultees who responded to the consultation and the changes made to the Charter in light of the consultation responses received. Given the lead committee's likely interest in this work, is the committee content that this correspondence is drawn to the attention of the Local Government Housing and Planning Committee? Yes. Yep. Thank you. And with that, I will move the committee into private. Thank you.